What's up guys, my name is Takia and I'm going to show you guys how to tell the difference between each bracket, also known as braces. Each brace is different, so it's really important as an orthodontic assistant that you know the difference between them all. All right, let's go. So these are your standard traditional braces and these are the American made ones. I'm going to go ahead and open these up. So with tooth numbering and orthodontics, we number one through seven. We number starting from the midline. We have one through seven for the upper right side, one through seven for the upper left, going down to the lower, one through seven, lower right, one through seven, lower left. So when looking at the brackets, each bracket is different and each bracket is shaped different. In orthodontics, we always just put on braces starting with the left side, but we usually start with the lower left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start that. So starting at the bottom, your lower left, I'm gonna start with here, the lower left six. I'm going to take this bracket out so you can see what it is. All right, so if you look closely, So if you look closely, this is a bracket that's going to be on your molar and it has a little white dot on it. That's really important because all of the lower left brackets are going to be white. So starting with your lower left six, which is your first molar, you will have a bracket that looks like this and it has a little hook on it and it has a white dot. That is your lower left six. Moving on over, this is your lower left five. This is going to be a premolar, also known as your second bicuspid. If you look closely here, this is shaped kind of like the bicuspid. It has two little nodges. That's your lower left five. Moving on over to the lower left four, it looks just like this one. However, it only has one little white dot on this side. This is going to be your lower left four, also known as a premolar, and this is also going to be known as your first bicuspid. Moving over to this one, this is the lower left three, which is going to be for your cuspid, which is also known as your canine or eye tooth. This one has a little hook down here, different from these ones, and it also has one little white dot here. That's going to be your lower left three. Moving over to this two, this is going to be the lower left two, which is going to be the lateral incisor. This one looks much different than the remainings. It has a little rounded U-shaped somewhat underneath it if you can see closely and it's rounded going over to lower left one it looks just like the lower left two it's rounded at the bottom in these incisors lower left two lower left one they do not have any indications of a white mark no color is indicated here going over to the lower right one it's also an incisor. This is going to be a central incisor. I forgot to tell you the name of the lower left one. That's also a central incisor as well. Going over to the lower right two, this is going to be your lower right two, the lower lateral incisor. All of the incisors, if you can see, they all look alike and they do not have any indication of a color on them. That is because all of the incisors are reversible. You can use them for any one, and they are all shaped the same. Going to your lower right three, as you can see, the remaining brackets for the right side are red, and that's important because all of your lower right brackets 
are red. Going to the lower right three, this is for your cuspid. All of the cuspid brackets have this hook. When you ever, whenever you see a bracket for the lower cuspids, the hook will be facing down, as you can see here, and as you've seen previously before here. On this side, this is the lower right cuspid, and it has a red dot because it's for the red side. The right side, sorry. This is your lower right four, which is the lower right premolar, also known as the lower right first bicuspid. Here you have one dot because it's for the first one, the first bicuspid. It's shaped just like the other brackets here on the left side, but the difference is this is for the right, that's why it's red. That one's for the white, the left, sorry, that's why it's white. Moving over to the lower right five, this is your second bicuspid, also known as a premolar. And here this has two dots. It's just like the lower left five, however, this one is red and it has two dots and it's for the lower right five. Moving over to the lower right six, this is going to be a bracket for your molar. As you can see here, it has a hook on it, just like the other molar. However, this one has a red dot, indicating that it's for the lower right six. Again, all of the lower right brackets will have a red dot on them. Going up to the upper. These are your upper left brackets. All of the upper left brackets are green. As you can see the green here, starting with your upper left six, this is your molar bracket for your first molar, upper left six, and it has a green dot there. Going to the upper left five, this is going to be your second bicuspid, also known as your premolar. These look just like the other brackets, however the hooks are facing upwards. Not hooks, but the little nudges and it's because it's for the upper. This does not have a color because they are two reversible with the one right here, which is going to be your upper left four, which is the second pre the first premolar, also known as the first bicuspid. If you look closely, they both look alike and they can be reversible. Going over to the three, upper left three, this is going to be your canine, the eye tooth, Again, all the canines have the hook. Since this is the upper, the hook is facing upwards and it has a green dot indicating that it's for the left side. So that is your upper left three. Moving right on over, you have your upper left two for your lateral incisor. This is the upper left, so you have the indication of the green dot here. And it is shaped different. This one is going to be more slender than this one I'm about to go next to. Moving on over, here is the upper left one, which is for your central. It has a green dot here indicating it's for the upper left. And as you can see, it's more squarer and rounded than the upper left two. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, you will see the colored dots on the side where the bracket is supposed to be placed. So you see the green dot here is on the upper left side is because it's for the upper left same one this is in the upper left corner if you go down here you see that the dots are on the lower left side because it's for the lower left except for the five the five has two dots going back here you see that the dots are on the lower right side because it's for the lower right Again, except for the fives because it's two dots. Okay. Now going back to the upper, I will finish indicating these brackets for you. Starting with the upper right one. All of the upper rights are going to be black. You have the black dots here. Starting with this one, this is the upper right one. This is going to be for your upper right central. And you have this black dot here in the upper right side because it's for the upper right. And again, the centrals are square compared to the laterals. Moving to the lateral, the upper right too, which is your lateral incisor. It's more slender and it has a black dot here on the upper right side. 
going to the upper right three. This is going to be the bracket for your cuspid, also known as your canine or an eye tooth. And it has the black dot here on the upper right side. And you have the hook for the eye tooth. And then also the hook is upwards because it's for the upper. You have your two brackets here, the upper right four, upper right five, your premolars or your bicuspid. The upper right four is your first bicuspid, upper right five, your second bicuspid. Both brackets look the same because they're reversible. They have the nudges facing upwards and they're rounded. Going to this one up in upper right six, this is going to have a black dot because it's for the upper right. And as you can see there, it has a black dot and it's the bracket for the molar. The molar brackets you always can tell because they're rounded this way and they have the hook. So I know you guys are probably wondering what about bracket number seven, all of the sevens. So if I go to the upper right, I will use an upper right six bracket for the upper right seven. Same for the upper left, I will use the upper left six bracket for the upper left seven. Same for the lower left, I will use a lower left six bracket for lower left seven. Going to the right, I will use a lower right six bracket for lower right seven. Those can be used. So these are all of your braces. Usually when working in orthodontics, you do not have to initially distinguish between brackets because everything is already set up for you and everything is already labeled. However, it is really important to know the difference between the two because sometimes the brackets do get mixed up in these cards as well as in the stock room. And sometimes a doctor can ask you for a bracket while you're bonding, putting braces on, and you have to just be quick on your feet know, and know which bracket to grab and to make sure you have the right bracket. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.